Hey everyone, guess what I'm doing today? I'm actually starting a new style of painting today and it's called fluid acrylic pouring. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for so long and I've been doing spray paint art, but when I saw acrylic pouring, oh my gosh, I got so excited because that's what I wanna do. So today I'm, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna, I've got my table uh, all set up here with uh, tin foil and my tray and I hope I do it right and I've got this little shelf that I got to dry my paintings on and we're in the kitchen I mean I don't have to do it outside <laughs> so let's see how it goes hey guys so I'm really excited to do this fluid acrylic pouring and as I've watched some YouTube videos I've seen people use these butane torches there we go that's helpful in a lot of ways with acrylic pouring to create cells which I'll be talking about and also popping air bubbles and stuff I'm really excited to use it so this will be one of my fun tools you'll be seeing me use in my videos okay I think I'm ready to do my first fluid acrylic pour I've got several things set up here a lot of different fun colors that I'm gonna be using today some blues because those are always the best so I am going to start with about a six by eight small canvas we're gonna start small and i'm gonna put my gloves on because it's gonna get messy so i've watched a few youtube videos to, to figure out how to do this but you know in the end it just comes out how it comes out so i'm excited to see what happens with this so i've got some popsicle sticks to stir the paint with in the little cups i've got these tiny little cups um, that are perfect for smaller sizes. And I have a larger cup that I'll be using to mix them all in, all the colors. And I've got my torch, which I'm super excited to use. Also, I may be using this Liquitex Flow Aid. So if the paint needs to be a little bit thinner, move a little bit faster, I'll be using this. All right, let's start with some teal. That will look pretty. Always going for the good beach scene. I don't even know really how much paint to put in, so I'm just gonna guess. Um, so I'll probably add a little bit of the Flow Aid. Okay, then I'm gonna put some of this beautiful darker blue in. I think I'm gonna create some new colors. So I'm gonna put some of this darker blue just a touch of the black. Actually, I'm gonna make it really dark. So I'll stir that up. Maybe I'll add some white to see what color that will look like. I mean, we're just totally making this up. That's what we do. Oh yeah, that's like a navy blue right there. That's cool. And then, of course, we'll have some white. Well, I think what I'm actually gonna do is since this is such a small painting, I'm gonna use this smaller cup to actually pour all the paints together. Um, so what I'm gonna do is start with our beautiful light turquoise teal color. And hopefully, <laughs> I'm being conservative because these paints are expensive, but I'm sure I'll have to use more. <laughs> but we're just experimenting with amounts. So I'll just dribble a little bit in there at first. And this all depends on what colors you put in, like what order you put them in, where they fall in the cup, how they end up on the canvas. It's, it's just, you never know what's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna do a little of each. Pour some of this medium blue and then a little more of the teal and then a little more of my darker. Okay, we've got a little cup full of color. There's about an inch worth of paint in there. So I'm gonna add a little bit more white. Just seeing how this goes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the canvas and put it on top of the cup, just about in the center. And I'm gonna flip it over and we'll let the colors kind of drip down 
onto the canvas for just a few seconds. So I'll just kind of tap that, make sure the colors are dripping down. And I've left a little tiny bit of paint in my cups so that when I tilt this around, I can kind of dab some on the edges and fill in spots that may not have been covered. Let's see how this looks. Mmm, beautiful. So I'm going to tap this on the edges. Oh, this is going to be fun. Can't go wrong with blues. I mean, seriously. So I'm going to start tilting this and see how it flows. Oh, that has some pretty color there. It's going to cover up all the white. <laughs> So it's really, really thick. So I guess I'll probably need more of the stuff that makes it thinner. I wanted to get some cool swirls in there, but the light blue's taken over. All right. So maybe I will just pour some of the leftover. Super thick. Maybe I will just use my stick to move the paint how I want it. And do some swirls. Yeah, I like that idea. Get some white in there for heaven's sakes. Well, this is how we're gonna roll today. I haven't really seen anyone do this. I'm sure they have, but mostly it's just pouring and letting the paint flow. But when things aren't working out, <laughs> you make up stuff. Make sure it looks good. <laughs> this is gonna be fun, actually. I kinda like this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this more often. I think that looks amazing. What do you guys think? <laughs> Well, totally different, but that's kind of what I was hoping for. There's a lot of common techniques of acrylic pouring out there, but my goal is to try something different. Make it my own, make it unique, unique styles. So I've got a few more ideas that I'm gonna be doing soon. So there it is, my first acrylic pour swirl. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this dry probably for a few days and then I'll be putting um, a gloss varnish over top so it's nice and shiny. Oh, actually, I wonder, I wanted to use my torch, I forgot. Let's see if we can pop any bubbles. Oh, there was one that popped. And someone said that it, this tends to warm the paint so that the underlying colors can come up, but I don't know if it's too thick for that to happen. Yeah, we'll just do it just for fun. <laughs> See how it goes. Okay, I like the textures. The scraping and swirling kind of opened up the paint so you can almost see the canvas at the bottom. So I kind of like that actually, so it's not all one level. That's the beauty of it. It's the beauty of life, right? Okay, there it is. My first acrylic pour. Yay.